This is how you create a talking character in OBS for free. Let's get into it. What do you need? Two PNGs of your character, one where it isn't talking and one image where it is. A microphone, the Spectralizer VST plugin, link to the download page in the description down below, and of course you need OBS. After you gather to the previous mentioned necessities to make your character, you can launch OBS. For the sake of this video, I'm going to create a new scene. Let's give it the original name talking character. After you created the scene, go to sources, click on the plus button and go to image. The first image you want to add to the scene is the character that isn't talking. Give your new image a name and click on OK. Click on browse and go to the file where your image is stored. Select the image and click on open. Adjust your image to the scene if necessary. Now we are going to add the spectralizer. Click on the plus button again and go to spectralizer. After adding the spectralizer, you get this screen. There are a few things you have to change. First, you have to add the audio source. In this example, we are using the microphone. Next, we want to disable automatic scaling and set gravity to zero. The higher the gravity is, the slower your talking character disappears. This isn't something we want because we want as much mouth movement as possible to make the talking as realistic as possible. If this doesn't make sense, it will in a minute. After you've changed the metrics, you can click on OK. Now we want to add filters to the spectralizer. Go to sources and right click on the spectralizer object and go to filters. First we want to add cropad. This filter will make sure our image will be shown fully when we talk. Disable relative and make sure the X value is 100. The next filter we want to add is scaling aspect ratio. This filter makes sure that our spectralizer has the same height and width as our non-talking character. Now we add the image mask blend filter, which is the filter where you add your talking character on top of it. Go to type and select blend multiply and add your talking character image. The final step we need to do is to add a chroma key to remove the background of your image. In my example, I use the blue screen, so I need to change key color type to blue. After adjusting the similarity value, I get the image that I want. Now we created our talking character. There are a couple of things we can do to make it even better. For example, I recommend to group these two objects together so that you can use them in other scenes and change how large they appear on screen. Add both objects to the group and click on the lock icon. If you want to change the size of the group, you need to unlock it again. A bonus tip! If you have a cutout of your character and save the image as a PNG, you have the ability to put a green screen behind it. This makes it easier to adjust the image to the size you need. And it makes editing easier because you can place your character anywhere you want. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this content, please give it a thumbs up. A thumbs down if not. And I will see you all later. Bye bye!